man, I'm, I'm on cloud nine. Um, yeah, you know, none of this was, was done for this reason, but it's just great to know that what happened meant so much to people. Absolutely, man. We appreciate you for, for joining us. And again, this is uh, the entertainer of the year for the 52nd NACP Image Awards, D-Nice. We want to get started with uh, our questions. Uh, first up, we're going to hear from WBLS. It's my New York station. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, oh, it looks like my camera's off. Can someone turn it on for me, please? Uh, it looks like the host has my camera off. Uh, okay, all right, we'll just go right into it. Hey, D-Nice, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, I want you to take us back to the day that you decided to do uh, club quarantine. What was the process like um, for you? What was the thought process like? Um, the process was me being at home alone. I, I was quarantined alone, my family you know, we're in Michigan and New York and my daughter was at, away at school. Um, and just being being home alone, um, just sitting there, just feeling a bit a bit sad, a bit depressed because I, I realized what was happening. You know, my, my gigs were being canceled, wasn't with my friends and family. And um, I, I just woke up that morning and opened my laptop up and just wanted to feel connected to people and just wanted to play. Not even, it wasn't even about DJing. It was just me wanting to play music and share stories with people. And um, and it turned into what it did within like a week, man. It's still kind of insane, you know? It's amazing. Thank you so much for all the laughter and joy and the music that you brought to our homes to uplift our spirits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. Next, we're gonna hear from WGN. WGN? Yep, um, I'm coming. Try to record. Coming? Okay, so I was about to do put it on the television. <laughs> <laughs> I think that while we're all here, so that the TV part starts. Um, D, what was your, you, you know, Entertainer of the Year is a, a, a broad award, and it means a lot of different things each year when it's awarded. What does it mean to you? Because you really did entertain the world. I mean, it's the truest sense of entertainer of the year. And a follow-up question, who do you have for verses on Easter Sunday? Um, uh, <laughs> winning um, entertainer of the year, uh, what does it mean to me? It, you know, honestly, like when when I started doing this and, and um, I, I received a, an email, I'm sorry, a DM from a, from a doctor and, and she had sent me all of these messages over and over and over again. And I had never read them. And when I finally read them, um, all she wanted me to do was to shout out a patient. So when I finally responded to her, this was like within the first two weeks, when I finally responded to her and um, she told me that the patient listened to me every single night that I was on and she passed away, unfortunately. That was a, a hard thing for me, you know, like, and I just knew that as for as long as that, for as long as we were going to be quarantined, you know, as let, as much as I could do it, I wanted to just be a source of inspiration to people, you know, to, to even if it just allows someone to just take their minds off of, of um, whatever they were dealing with for thirty minutes just to be in a chat. It was important to me. So this is, is truly one of one of the highest honors that I've ever been presented, and it, and it means the most because I know what it me really meant to people. And who do I have in verses? I'm friends with. I'm friends with you know, a couple of the members from Earth, Wind and Fire, but man, I am an Isley brother fan. Like Ron Isley can do no wrong in terms of making music. So I think I'm gonna have to, I mean, it's a celebration of the culture anyway, but if we're going to the, to the kind of like the original battle sense of like verses, I'm going with the Isleys. Thank you. Can we look forward to a set that night? Oh, absolutely. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Going for the eyes. Okay, okay. All right, next up, we're going to hear from Black Tree TV. All right. Uh, how you doing, D Nice? What's up, man? How are you? Man, pretty good, man. I, I, first, I want to thank you for all the, all the stuff that you've done and added to the culture with this versus. 
there's a there's a lot there's a thousand questions I would want to ask you about you know royalties and how does he get artists paid. But what I want to really ask you is what does it say about resilience that in the midst of the pandemic when everybody was dealing with negativity that you found some way to um to make something positive out of it for yourself just looking forward with any other obstacles you have like what did it mean that you turned the pandemic into something not just prosperous but something real positive and influential for for history well well i'll say this um a lot of what happened with me early on wasn't just about me because without the audience and without the the audience truly wanting to be there with me um none of it's possible but what i did learn was that what happened with me um and this is just in my mind it, it probably couldn't have happened for anyone else in that moment it was it was 35 years of being there for people you know constantly being there constantly giving a hundred percent why so many people came on that big night, you know, like, you know, the Michelle Obamas aren't popping in just because they heard of some DJ D nice having a party. Like, no, I, I, I've done so many events with them and the same thing with Oprah and with all these people like throughout the years and also with the fans. So to me, it's all about just being, just being authentically who you are, man. And, and, and it, it goes a long way. And like I said, man, it's, it's going to forever be something that, that lives lives deep within me like always give 100 percent, and i hope people find inspiration in that and one quick follow-up if there was one posthumous versus you could do i mean we got so many artists that's that's past prince and michael jackson and everybody else like who would you want to match up posthumously in a versus well with swiss and tim's versus um who would i love to see like michael jackson and prince those are like two of my favorite artists man so that would have been that would be awesome <laughs> Thank you for everything, bro. Appreciate, appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Black Tree. Uh, and last question, we will hear from a Chicago Defender. And uh, of course, just for the sake of time and to give everybody a fair shot, please limit yourselves to one question per winner, please. And thank you. Chicago Defender. You're on mute. You're on mute. Gotcha. Hi, how are you? I'm oh, great. How are you, Danielle? Good. Um, DJs often talk about the importance of knowing how to read a room when they're playing live or playing for festivals and concerts. How do you do that virtually? That's a great question because it was uh, difficult initially. Um, but what I learned is that this was the first time in my career that I actually felt that people were coming to something that I was doing because they wanted to hear what I had to play as opposed to like, you know, when you, when you're, when you're a DJ and you're playing a club, you tend to lean, you know, in the direction of like how people are dancing or, or, um, but it's always, it's always like, I call them like cheap party tricks. It's like, <laughs> it's easy to play like, this is how we do it or poison, like, because those records automatically get people dancing or before I let go. I've been fortunate enough throughout this journey to just be able to play what I love and people have gravitated towards it. So my way of um, kind of like seeing where or gauging if people are into it is obviously based on the amount of people in the room, but also the comments and also hearts flying. Like when I see hearts on the side, like constantly going, to me, someone sitting on a phone, constantly pressing it, like, yo, that means that they really love what I'm playing and right. I feed off of that. Right. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so uh, thank much, you. Defender. And D Nice, thank you so much for joining us. It's all the time uh, we have thank today. You. Again, congratulations, man. And we wish you much more success and continue to bring us the vibes. Absolutely, man. I appreciate you, bro. You take care of yourself. You too. All right, bye.